Good morning, Squidward. Oh, good morning, SpongeBob. What you doing? I'm just cleaning the register just to make it shine. You better get in there and start making Krabby Patties. We're gonna have customers in an hour. Okie dokie. Well, look at this. Me two favorite employees are here earlier than me. Good job, boys. I have a feeling that this is going to be the best day ever. This is the worst day ever! Why will Krabs just simply give me the formula already? Ah, cheer up, Plankton. I'm sure there are some plants that you have not tried. What do you mean, Karen? I've tried everything. I've tried disguising. I've tried cloning. I've tried exploding. i tried everything. Well, did you try any cloning plants? Heck yeah, computer wife, I just told you. I tried every cloning plan. I tried cloning myself, I tried cloning Spongebob. I just tried everything. But one thing I have not tried is cloning four evil versions of Spongebob. <gasps> yes, that's it. I can clone four evil versions of Spongebob. To the building room! It's done! After two months of working on it, it is finally done. My cloning machine. Now, all I have to do is find Spongebob, bring him here, clone him into four Spongebobs with antennas of course to match my personality then I will command the sponge quad to distract Spongebob's friends and the formula will be mine <laughs> that was the craziest day I ever had in my life meow Noah Gary after this I am very tired Good night, Gary. Meow, meow. <gasps> okay, time to add a machine to the bed. It's stalled. SpongeBob, you will be mine. Oh, good morning, world, and all. Wait, what? Ah! Oh! Dear merciful Neptune, what happened? Wakey, wakey, Spongy. Plankton? <laughs> what, what the barnacles are you doing here? Well, let's say I want to turn you from SpongeBob into Sponge Quad. What? What do you mean by that? By that, I mean cloning you into four evil SpongeBob to seal the formula. What? Yeah, I'm gonna clone four of you so that they can distract your friends while I'm at the formula. Anyway, SpongeBot! Yes, Sir Plankton. SpongeBot meets SpongeBob. SpongeBob meets SpongeBot. Anyway, I need you to get to the control center and wait for me. All right, Sir. All right, SpongeBob. I'm gonna give you two choices. You better pick one now. Either one, give me the secret formula starting right now, or two. I'm gonna clone you from SpongeBob into Sponge Quad. So, what is your decision? I will never make a decision, you stupid! Well, I guess I have no choice, but I'm gonna clone you now. What? No, Plankton! No! Don't clone me! Sorry, too late. Oh, and by the way, you might wanna put these on, just in case. Alright, let's start this. SpongeBot, I need you to activate the lever to medium speed. Gotcha, boss. Karen, increase suckage by maximum. 
increasing by maximum. Yes, it is working. <laughs> Yes! I made it! That's strange. Who stopped this machine? Patrick? How did you know about this? Well, there's not that much to tell you. So, like about an hour ago, I was sleeping until I forgot something outside. But when I was just about to go outside, I noticed you and Plankton. I was so suspicious, so I followed you. Then I crashed through the chum bucket and... Here we are right now. Oh, my Neptune. Thank you so much, Patrick. I really appreciate you helping me. That's what friends do. Now let's get you out of there. All right, let's go home before things get worse. So I crashed into the chump bucket, then rescued him, and now here we are. Wow, that was so wild. I hope that you're still okay, SpongeBob. Aw, thank you, Squidward. And just to let you know, I am still okay. Well, the most important thing is that SpongeBob's okay, right? You are definitely right. I am always... Oh, not fine. Oh, oh my Neptune. Oh, oh my Neptune. Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Something's... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, something weird is happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. I think I look good with these antennas. Don't you boys think? Yeah, but we have some chaos to cause. Did anyone see what happened there? Because I didn't. Alright, you four, surrender the crusty crab. Uh, SpongeBob? It's SpongeCod. You can tell it because we have antennas. Hey, how come I don't have any antennas? Oh, never mind. Alright, alright, no fooling around. Surrender or we'll destroy this place. Destroy? What do you mean, destroy? Like this, stupid. Hey, that was private property. That's not private property. This is what private property is. Uh. Alright. Now every sponge quad attack! Uh oh. And stay out. Hang on. There. And stay out! Now I wonder how much damage can four sponge bombs cause? Well, apparently, Mr. Krabs, they can do damage like that. I already saw that, but that's not the point. The point is we need to figure out a plan to fix this. So, I'm thinking that if we... Alright, time to plan into action. Alright, Patrick, now, what you're going to do, you're going to lure a sponge quad here and just keep in there and stay where you are. Alright, got you covered, but why do I have to stay there? You'll see. Hey, didn't I tell you to beat it, Tubby? Who are you calling Tubby? You're a stupid yellow box. Hey, you better respect me right now. I am telling you, you better... That's strange. Nothing. Aw, oh, darn. Woohoo! We did it! One down, three more to go. How do we cook Krabby Patties with this greasy tool? Boom! <laughs> oh, clan cakes. Two down, two more to go. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna chill out here. Oh no, you don't! Yes! 
three down, one more to go. Where are the others? Oh, you will not be seeing them. Hey, what are you doing here? You mean what are we doing here? What? 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 <laughs> All right, now you better shut up, and we're going to ask you one question. What on earth have you done to SpongeBob, and where are you from? Tell us right now. You can't make me. Listen, you're going to tell us right now. If you don't, we're going to do something so horrible that no one will ever believe. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'll tell you. I made from the chum bucket. Plankton captured the real SpongeBob and, and turned him into four of us, so he'll capture the formula while you're distracted. Just please don't do something horrible to me. Steal the formula? I knew it. Let's go get Plankton. Yes. My plan worked. I got the formula. Well, it's about to get spoiled. Krabs, how did you know about this? Let's say one of your four buddies told us. Now hand over the formula. It's over now. Why does my life come to this? Here's a formula. Thanks. But I have two more things I want you to do. Oh, darn. Okay, all fixed. Hooray, I'm back to normal! Now we have one more thing to do. No, wait, 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 no, no, no. Crash, I just cleaned your place. No, don't press the button! No, I'm okay! That should take care of it. Guys, I'm so bored, we have nothing to do! Does anybody know what to do? I've never been this bored in my life! Yeah... Oh! We could... No, we've done that before. Hi guys! Just to let you know, I'm gonna be in Hawaii for summer. Make sure you do good! Bye everyone! What are those? I don't know, Patrick, but those boxes are making me very suspicious. Should we open those? It doesn't say not to open, I guess. Let me see. Okay, so there's nothing on the top, which is good. Yeah. Nope, nothing here too. Good. It's all clear, gang. It's all clear. But what about this box? Oh yeah, thank you Spongebob for reminding me. Here. This one doesn't say not to open either, so... We're clear too, gang. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's open those boxes! <laughs> Seeing what I'm seeing? Okay, gang, after an hour of researching through Google, I finally found what these two things are. So, what exactly are these things? Well, according to the description, it says this A fidget spinner is a toy that consists of a ball bearing in the center of a multi low bid flat structure made from metal or plastic designed to spin along its axis with little effort. Fidget spinner? But what about the cube? Well it says here, the fidget cube is a small handheld device. It has sensory tools on all sides, a rocker switch, gears, a rolling ball, a small joystick, a spinning disc, a rubbing stone, and five buttons. And I guess that's about it. Well, I guess there's nothing to do other than play with it, I guess? Cause we're all bored. Well, you are right, Squidward. I can't wait to start spinning this thing. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh my gosh! Dang! 
Oh my gosh! Huh? This is so addicting! Wow! I cannot believe how addicting that was! Don't forget to mention the cube. It has lots of buns to push. <laughs> this never gets old. Because the metal of the fidget spinner does not spin along, I bet I could sit on it while it's spinning. All right, let's start spinning this bad boy. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, spinning around. Woo! This rocket switch is so cool that I can just rub my butt on it! Can this day get any better? Yeah! So let me get this straight. Artsy Lego did drop those things, and you think it is fine to just take them without letting him know? It might not seem like a good idea, but I'm telling you these fidget toys are so fun to play with! Especially when sitting on a fidget spinner while it's spinning. I can do this all day. I hate to break it to y'all, but I don't really like those fidget toys. They can get addicting to the point where they can take over your life. <gasps> so you're saying we can't play with them? What? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Listen. Hey, what's going on here? It's those three. They're too addicted to those fidget toys. Uh, fighting over toys? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I can't believe they are fighting over stupid little toys. They are so childish. Like then? I dare you to say that again! What, now you're acting like a baby because you're fighting over stupid little toys? What are you going to do? Cry oh, over- yeah! Oh, my- oh. Quick, Squidward, we must protect the fidget toys. We can't let them take it. <sighs> I don't have time for that. Ah! Let me go! Miss Cheeks! Well, well, well. Did you really think you were gonna take away our fidget toys? Well, I don't think so. We even got your friends held up. SpongeBob, you have to do this. Please stop the madness. I would be stupid enough to give you an unfair sword fight if I were to do that. Oh, you want a sword fight, huh? Plankton, I need a sword. <laughs> oh, my head! Ooh. Here go crabs. It's not the best, but at least it's something. A paperclip? <laughs> You're gonna fight me with a, a crafted paperclip? Oh no, you don't! Yeah! <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob. You're losing. I know you can beat him. Hey Squidward, why are you standing up and watching if you should be sitting on Sandy? Oh, barnacles. Hoi yeah! <laughs> now that I've got you right where I want, I just need to finish you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. So you're gonna use a tiny rod to bang it on my head? Uh... Hey Plankton, can I borrow that? Mr. Krabs, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Mr. Krabs, let me just say, I am very sorry that I got addicted to those fidget toys. Please don't do it. Too late. Wait, what are you doing? Let's end this! Much better. We are really sorry we got addicted to those fidget toys. We were just bored and we didn't have anything to do. It's okay, Boyo. Sorry I destroyed the toys with the lightsaber. But don't worry, I ordered an identical looking fidget cube and fidget spinner. That way, RT Leo Dude won't notice a thing when he gets back from Hawaii. Not to mention, you can play with them when they arrive, as long as you don't get too addicted to it. Well, okay. So it turns out everything goes good in the end. I gotta say, Mr. Krabs, this is the first time you've let customers stay here at the Krusty Krab until Christmas Eve comes. And it proves to me that you do care about people, not just money, all the time. That's right, SpongeBob! Besides, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Why would I do anything bad on the season of getting- uh, sorry, I mean, the season of giving? Well, I can't wait to start flipping patties tomorrow. It's gonna be so fun! 
That's right. How can anything go wrong? Arg, I hate Christmas. Every year I always have to get in the ship in order to ignore the entire month of December. It is such a pain. But this year will be different. Instead of hiding in the ship, I will collect souls and ruin Christmas forever. But how am I going to do it alone? Dutchman's residence. Hi, do you hate Christmas? Why, yes I do. Then you just got lucky. Yes? Are you the one who was talking to me on the phone three hours ago? You're right, that was me. So you were talking to me on the phone that you wanted to ruin Christmas by stealing souls? That is right. Well, I've got a perfect plan. Come with me. One explanation later. And we're going to start doing the plan in three days when the Krusty Krab Christmas Festival starts. Arg, I like that idea. This is too perfect. Not only I will get my hands on the formula, but I will ruin Christmas. And it will never be a thing again. And I'm surprised that I joined forces with a ghost and we just made our own TM. And after we rule Christmas, we can rule the world. Attention everyone, I am happy to announce that in 3 hours, we will be serving Krabby Patty's Christmas Edition until Christmas Eve comes. So if you're willing to try some, go get them right now before- <laughs> ah! Oh no, it's a fine Dutchman! Citizens of Bikini Bottom! My time has finally come to ruin your holiday. What do you mean ruin our holiday? What did we ever do to Silence! Okay, if you want, I know you're fucking up. Thank you. As I was saying, for 4,000 years, every Christmas, I always have to hide in the ship in order to ignore it. And I'm tired of doing it. So instead, this year, I will ruin Christmas, and it will never be a holiday ever again. Listen Dutchman, I'm so sorry that you hate Christmas, but we'll give you anything you want as long as you don't hurt anyone. Not only he wants something, but I want something as well. Clinton? <gasps> you join him? Yeah. Teamed up so I can get the formula, he can steal souls, we'll ruin Christmas, and if possible, we can rule the world. Why, you? I have wasted me time, so I'm going to start collecting souls right now. Hey guys, I'm back from pooping behind the rocks since the restaurant's were fun. Huh? happened? He did it. I can't believe he actually did it. He stole my family. He stole my friends. He stole my employees. Did something bad happen before I came here? Oh, something bad happened alright. Clayton teamed up with the Flying Dutchman so they can ruin Christmas by stealing souls and they plan to steal the secret formula. Oh, so that explains everything. By the way, whose souls did the Dutchman get? He got the souls of a family, friends, and most importantly, Spongebob and Squidward. <gasps> Not my two best buddies! Don't worry Mr. Krabs, I'll get them back including all the people that have been captured. Really? I knew I'd count on you. It's up to me to save Christmas. <laughs> I've gotta say, Plankton, teaming up with you was the best thing I've ever done in years. Look at all the souls I collected in this here box. Excellent. I can't wait for you to continue collecting more souls tomorrow. Not to mention I love the idea of putting those two in a machine and turning them into ghosts when Christmas Eve is here. Stop what you're doing now! Huh? That's right, I'm here to stop you two from ruining Christmas! 
Oh, Patrick, I'm so glad you're here. If my face wasn't pressed up against the glass, I would be smiling right now. What do you want from us? Release SpongeBob, Squidward, and all the souls you captured now! Why should we do that? Because if you don't, I will shoot hot sauce at you. And trust me when I say it, it's gonna burn. Um, are you serious? Do you really think hot sauce is gonna burn? Wow, you're really st- <laughs> oh, oh, my eye, my eye! <laughs> oh, I forgot you were a ghost. I knew I should have borrowed Sandy's ghost capturing device. I have to admit that hot sauce did get my eye. But anything you do will be no match for Dutchman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dutchman, I feel like we should celebrate. Do you want to go get ice cream or something? Uh, yeah. How about we go get Goofy Goobies? Their ice cream is really good. Well, guys, I think it's fair to say that we failed to save Christmas. Don't worry, Patrick. We're going to save Christmas. We just need to come up with a good plan. But first, we need to get out of here. Maybe if I shake this machine, it'll tip over and break the glass. Okay, good try. Here you go. Free at last. Ah, my neck feels so much better. Now that we're free, how are we gonna save everyone by the time Plankton and Dutchman realize? Hmm. Remember Patrick brought up Sandy's ghost capturing device? I still don't know how they escaped. Maybe it was a bad idea to go to Goofy Goobers. It's not that big of a deal unless they've rescued the captured souls. We'll just check the security cameras. Security cameras? What are you talking about? I see no cameras. Wow, out of all the technology you have... Sheldon? <laughs> what? Sheldon? How did you end up in there? Huh? I wouldn't go anywhere near him if I were you. Listen, Dutchman, I don't want to stab you. So just release all the souls you've captured, and I will put the sword down. Did you realize that my sword is made out of real metal and yours just looks like it was made out of plastic? Um, no. You fool. Did you really think you can save Christmas? Well, I don't think so. I'm almost done with me plan. I just need to finish you and stop right now or else I will capture you with this ghost capturing device from Sandy's. Which I should have brought it earlier. <sighs> just as I knew me plan would fail. Time for me to go back to hiding in me ship. Dutchman, why are you doing this? Because I'm always trying to find a way to act like Christmas is not even a thing. Because I hate Christmas. Well, why do you hate Christmas? Because Christmas is about family and friends. And I think it's so unfair that I don't get to hang out with me family or friends. Back before when I was alive, I loved to spend Christmas with me family and me crew. But one day before we celebrated Christmas Eve, a giant sea monster came and ate me crew and me family. Luckily I survived. But I had no one to spend Christmas with. Oh my gosh, Dutchman. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, that explains everything. But you didn't have to do any of that. We can be your friends. You can come spend Christmas with us. As long as you release all the souls. Really? Ah, oh, thanks guys. No problem, Dutchman. Now let's save those people. Before we do that, I think we have one more thing we need to do. And that's why Dutchman's gonna spend Christmas with us. I don't think I can ever thank you, Patrick, and Squidward enough for saving Christmas, boyo. By the way, what did you do to Plankton? Uh, let's say you won't be seeing him for a long time. Karen! I'm stuck inside this box, which is also inside this machine. Karen? Karen? Are you there? Did someone turn you off? Are you serious? Oh, good lord, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna be stuck in here for a long time. Hey, Patrick! Hey, SpongeBob! Do you know what today is? Oh, you bet I do. It's Saturday! A perfect day to go jellyfishing! Nope. It is actually... 
May the 4th. A perfect time to have a lightsaber battle and watch all the Star Wars movies. Uh, Patrick, that was five days ago. It's May 9th today. Tartar sauce. Don't worry, we can still have some fun. Well, in that case... <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be in this video. Happy late May the 4th, everyone! Whoa! The wind is pretty strong today. Ah, and it blew off my hat. Luckily, no TNT was involved. <laughs> there. Now then. What the? Ah, there's gum in my foot. Ah. So, what happened? Well, Squidward got hit by a bus, and the impact was so hard he has to stay here for the whole week to recover. What? How did he get hit by a bus? He told me that his hat fell off on the road and his foot got stuck on chewed gum. Are you kidding me? I keep telling him not to walk to work with his hat on because scenarios like this can happen. Looks like we're gonna have to replace Squidward for a week. Hmm... I have an idea. I don't know, Spongebob. Last time I worked at the Krusty Krab, it didn't turn out good. Trust me. Instead of being an assistant, you will be a cashier, which includes operating on the register, taking orders. It's easy. I see your point, but why would you pick me out of anyone? Couldn't you get Pearl? She'll be camping with her friends for a week. What about Bubble Buddy? He's busy with his son. What about me? Well... What about me? Ah, dang it! Okay, fine. I'll get behind the register. Well, in that case, you're hired! Okay, Mr. Star. Before we start the day, just remember that it's okay to make tiny mistakes, as long as there are no injuries. Wait, injuries? Four, three, two, one, and now we open! Good luck taking orders, Patrick. Thanks, buddy. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How may I take your order? Can I get two Krabby Patties, both with cheese, lettuce, two pickles, sesame seeds, on buns, a few slices of onions, a piece of tomato, two Krabby Fries with honey mustard, a box of coral nuggets, and two medium diet coral colas? Wait, 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 what? You seriously didn't hear a thing I said? I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Can you please repeat your order? <sighs> I would like two Krabby Patties, both with cheese, lettuce, two pickles, sesame seeds on- ah! Florida! Look, pal, how about I write everything down, and you can take the paper? Sure, I like that idea. Here you go. Thank you. Here's the order, Spongebob. Thanks, Patrick. One out of everything written in this paper coming up! I nailed that one. Welcome to the Krusty Krab, ma'am. How may I help you? I want one plain Krabby Patty with Bubble Pop soda, please. Okay. Is that it? Yep. And how much will that be? Uh, fish sticks. I forgot the price. Uh, forty dollars. Really? That's a bit expensive, if you ask me. Well, how about a hundred dollars, Mom? I'm not your mom. Really? You sound like her. So, are you my dad? Ah, oh, fine! Take the money! And another customer down. Hey, big guy. What would you like to order? I'll take a number two and four stacked up on top of a crispy road toasted bun along with an olive on top of the skewer. Make sure to add lettuce that got abused by an old shovel from an abandoned warehouse as well as bacon on the number four, which is the bottom patty. And please make the coiled bits feel sorry for every bad thing they did to their families. Uh, I 
don't think we can serve- Here you go, Bubble Bass. Impressive, Square Pants, but I don't plan on eating here, so- Take it to go? Now that's what I'm talking about. Good day to you all. Wow. Wow, indeed. So how's your first day going so far? Pretty good. I took three orders, and I'm glad to have a good excuse for skipping broccoli today. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Star. Keep up the good work. We got four days to go. <laughs> oh, we got more customers coming. Four days. <laughs> How can it possibly go wrong? Four days later. Hi, Patrick. Are you looking forward to your final day? Of course I am. To be honest, I expected Squidward's job to be difficult, but it turns out... Patrick, please, meet me in my office. Yes, I'll make sure to address the situation. If you have any more concerns, let me know and I'll take them into consideration. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Please have a seat. So, what is it? Look, it may seem like things have been pleasant for you, but for four days, I've been receiving negative critiques about you giving incorrect prices and sometimes delivering wrong orders. Is that true? Yes. It can be difficult for me to remember prices and orders, like how I can't remember every holiday. One time I even said Happy Mother's Day to Spongebob way too late. Hey, Spongebob! <gasps> <gasps> Patrick! You scared me! Sorry. Anyway, Happy Mother's Day! I got my mom a nice candle as a gift. Pat, it's not Mother's Day. Oh. Well, uh... Happy Father's Day! This candle is not no, a present it's not, for my dad. It's not Father's Day either. Uh... Happy Mother's Day! Okay, but look, I have a solution to your problems. I'll give you a chart which explains the prices on the menu, and as for delivering orders, leave that to Spongebob. It's his specialty. What do you think? I like that idea. Alright, Mr. Krabs, I'll try that and see if it works. A few hours later. Thank you, sir. Come again. So how was that? You definitely have the most interesting improvement progression we ever had! Wow! Does that mean my paycheck will be doubled? What are you talking about? You're not getting a paycheck. I figured. Excuse me. I know you guys are closing, but can I please take a Krabby Patty to go? Of course, just wait one second. SpongeBob, I need one Krabby Patty- One Krabby Patty for you, sir! Wow! I can't believe it! You get to have your first Krabby Patty? No, I can't believe all of you have been fooled! Brandon! You're not going anywhere! Uh oh. Ah! Oh, please don't hurt me! Oh, relax, you're too dumb to do anything. You stupid booger! <laughs> you lose, Krabs. My restaurant will soon be an outstanding success. While you and SpongeBob could be my potential employees, I will have a very enjoyable time seeing you all miserable. <laughs> I win! <laughs> 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 No, I win. And so all of that happened when he filled in for me? Yep, and for saving me restaurant, your payment will be a $10 crusty coupon. Alright, that's even better than a paycheck. Well, I have to admit, it was nice having you at work with me again, but all things have to come to an end. Don't worry, I'm willing to substitute for Squidward if anything happens again. Oh, okay. Well, I cannot thank you enough for taking my place during my recovery, Patrick. I can't wait to get back to work on Monday. Before I forget, Mr. Squidward, please make sure you leave your hat at work next time.
Wow, this bikini bottom looks rather decent. Hey look, it's a Krusty Krab. So I told him, I see what you did there. <laughs> That's a good one, SpongeBob. Now let me try. Uh, uh. Hello. My name <laughs> is... It's a crab! Well, that wasn't a reaction I was expecting. What is it, boys? There was a one cup inside the one at a time! SpongeBob? Remember a few years ago, Plankton cloned me and made an army of evil SpongeBobs? Yes. There's one in the Krusty Krab! What? It's true! The worst part was that I didn't get to make my joke! You think your joke is more important than the situation? It was until you mentioned it. <gasps> Get out! What? Tell your master Plankton we aren't going to deal with his Sponge Quad army! Plankton? And what's a Sponge Quad? My god, you are funny! Oh, Eugene! Hand over the formula crabs, or face the wrath of my Sponge Quad army! <gasps> Thanks for bringing us back, boss! You're welcome! I knew I had a copy of Spongebob's DNA left to make you guys. Wait a minute. This Spongebob looks nothing like the Sponge Quad army. So who are you? I'm Spongebob from a different dimension. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, yeah, amazing. Now face the wrath of the Sponge Quad! <laughs> yeah. Fight back! <laughs> Bad move, dude. Oh, oh. Oh. I have him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, handsome. It's no use. We can't beat them. Maybe we can. Sandy. Larry. Bubble bus. I was forced to help them by my mom. You live with your mom? Don't worry, guys. We can take care of them. Attack! the matter? Are you scared? Oh, clam cakes! Ah! <sighs> Sponge Quad, I command you to attack him! With pleasure. Ah! Huh? Don't mess with my dimensional brother again. Ah! My army! You'll pay for this, crabs. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. I'll pay for nothing. Thanks for the help, other SpongeBob. No problem. And thanks for coming to the rescue, Sandy. No problem, other SpongeBob. Can somebody explain why there were so many SpongeBobs? I can tell you about it later. At least I helped. So in that case, I'll be leaving. Catch you losers later. Well, good luck getting back to your home dimension, SpongeBob. 
Bye, guys. Bye, Mr. SpongeBob. There you go, Patrick. One double patty combo with extra cheese, extra tomatoes, extra lettuce, extra pickles, and mustard. Well, thank you, Squidward. I'll be taking that. <sighs> I really, really, really love this job. You mean you hate it, right? What? You meant to say you hate your job, right? No, I love my job. Am I seeing stuff here? Because last time I came here, you said you hate your job so much you would never come here. That's because I was ignorant and grumpy, you know? But now I'm a nice octopus. That is so cool. I gotta tell all my friends. No, you don't need to do that. You Ah, great. He's gonna tell everyone. Oh, hi, Squidward. What's the problem? P problem? W what problem? I don't have a problem. There's no problem. Come on, Squidward. Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Fine. It's this guy. I told him that I used to be mad, and now I'm happy, and now he's going to tell everyone about it. So, what's the problem with that? Well, you see, I don't want to talk in front of a whole crowd because I suffer from stage fright, meaning I'm scared to talk in front of a whole crowd. Aw, uh, it's okay, Squidward. I suffer from stage fright too, but after talking in front of a whole crowd, I got over it, and if I did, you can do it. Well, you're absolutely right, I guess. Maybe. There he is, guys, the man himself. Is it true that you're nice? Well, I used to be mad, but now I am nice. Say, because this is interesting, why don't you tell us the story? Oh, um, tell you the story, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have time. It will affect your paycheck, Mr. Squidward! Alright, I'll tell you, but listen carefully, I'm only gonna say this once. It all began here in the Krusty Krab. I was about to go home. Ah, <sighs> my shift is over. I can't wait to go home, play my clarinet, do some paintings, get some beauty sleep, and most importantly, relax in the tan all day. It is going to be one amazing week off from work. And would you look at that, home sweet home. Well, one week vacation, here we- <coughs> They don't call me Spongebob, go make your pants for nothing! Oh, uh, my head. Huh? Spongebob Patrick! Oh, hi Squidward! What are you doing in our goalie net? You obviously kicked a ball in front of my face and then launched me! There's no need to thank us! Thank you! You're welcome! I WASN'T THANKING YOU, YOU SON OF A POOP EMOJI! I WAS ASKING YOU A QUESTION EVEN THOUGH IT SOUNDS FAMILIAR! FOR EXAMPLE, THANK YOU IS A SHORT WAY OF SAYING WHY WOULD I THANK YOU! Okay, I get it now. THANK YOU! YOU'RE WELCOME! I ABSOLUTELY HATE MY LIFE! Alright Patrick, my next soccer practice will be in 3 hours, so I need you to bring tons and tons of water for me, okay? I have got you covered. Oh Squidward, I forgot to tell you, I'll be playing in the Bikini Bottom soccer game in 3 months, so I'm gonna give you a free ticket to watch me play. Well Spongebob, I would love to watch your game, but I probably won't because I'm worried Patrick is gonna eat so much spicy stuff, he's gonna fart fire at me. Wait, how did you know I did that 2 hours ago? Oh god, never mind. Race for impact! This ice pack isn't helping at all. It's just giving me stupid cold burns. Oh hey Squidward, I see that your head is hurting a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? No Patrick, you farted fire at me and I hit my head onto a rock. You've helped enough today. Hi Squidward, I bought a cup of nice warm milk for you if it makes you feel better. No Spongebob, I don't need milk from you. I can get milk myself. 
Why don't you throw at me? I couldn't find any bandages, so I went with used toilet paper. Ow! Are you stupid or something? Don't throw used toilet paper at me, that's disgusting! Squibber, I accidentally drank the milk, is it okay if we share? Thanks, Squidward. How can I keep those two off of my space? Come on, there has got to be a way. I can take them to go jellyfishing. No, they're gonna ask me to go with them. How about I ask nicely for- Oh no, 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 no. I am not going to ask nicely and it's impossible for me to fake it. <sighs> What's the point? They're just gonna bother me forever. I just came up with an amazing idea! If I can ask someone so fun to come here, then Spongebob and Patrick will play with him more than me. I absolutely love that idea so much, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh wait a minute, I didn't unlock my phone. Huh. Hello? Hi, today is your lucky day. Hi, today is your lucky day. I will be visiting your neighborhood and if I like it, I'm going to be moving in. I will also throw a party. I can't wait to move in with you and your neighbors. <laughs> Patrick! Patrick! SpongeBob! You will not believe what this letter says! Someone is going to move in and if he likes it, he's going to throw a party? Wait, how did you know? Did you get the same letter? No, I'm lucky guessing. In fact, I just picked up this letter. Oh, um, okay. But aren't you excited? Did someone say a new neighbor's coming? Uh, yeah, did you get a letter too? Well, I don't need one because I already know about this. I found this guy and I decided to talk with him a bit and I told him, how about you come here and move in with us? Wait, this whole thing was your plan? So nice of you, Squidward. Yes, indeed, SpongeBob, and I'm doing this because I want to prove both of you that I can be a good friend sometimes. So you're a good person instead of a bad person? That question is so stupid, I'm not even gonna answer it. So when is this guy coming? I don't know, SpongeBob. Don't ask me. It's not like he's gonna arrive right now. And it happened. Oh, hi, fellas. Is this Con Street? Yes. Yeah. What's Con Street? Well, this place looks so good. I already want to move in already. OMG, he wants to move in? My name is James Kelpson. What are all of your names? I'm SpongeBob. I'm Squidward. Me, Patrick. Well, it's nice to meet all of you, SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick. I can't wait to move in with you guys. You know, this is starting to be like my dream. What is your dream about? In my dream, I moved into a really cool neighborhood. Then, after we had the party, we were actual neighbors. It was so fun. I blah, absolutely- Blah, 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 you had your dream, blah, 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 you threw a party. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, James, so goodbye. Huh, that's weird. Squirrel never goes away when people are talking. Well, he probably had a bad day. Anyway, are you ready to party? <gasps> Heck yeah, I am! What about you, Pat Bro? Do you want to be the DJ? What's a DJ and who's Pat Bro? Ah, peace and quiet. I still can't believe my plan worked. Now I can finally play my clarinet alone. Huh? What's that noise? <gasps> Got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah! Uh, this is a great party, and the best part about it is that I get to hang out with you again after a long time, Mrs. Puff. Oh, Mr. Krabs, you're even sweeter than the previous guy I've dated. Thanks. That's good, right? 
Why am I here without an invitation? Huh? Why is my house filled with toilet paper? SpongeBob! Oh, hi, Squidward! You made it to the party! What is going on and why is there toilet paper on my house? Well, James is throwing a party celebrating he's gonna be our new neighbor. And he decides to throw toilet paper out your house just for fun. Is it not necessary to throw a party all because someone is moving here? Well, it depends on what people think. That's <laughs> I still don't know what a DJ is, but this is fun! <laughs> Huh? What happened to the speakers? I swear what? I didn't what? touch what? anything! Oh, damages? Alright, calm down. Can anybody tell me what is going on? The music stopped all of a sudden. The music stopped? That's so weird. I just bought those radios three days ago, and this is the second time I'm using them. Hey everyone, I know what's going on with the speakers. They're probably hungry. And why would you think of something stupid like that? Well, they're called speakers, and their mouths are speakers. That's how we talk. Aha! Uh -huh. Really funny. That wasn't meant to be a joke. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. The wire's cut. I knew I should have bought wireless speakers instead of expensive ones. Anyway, who cut the wire? That would be me. <gasps> Squidward? You cut the wire? Why would you shut it, old man? Where is SpongeBob and Patrick? We're, We're right here. here. Can I talk to both of you in private? Sure, sure thing. Alright, now that we are in a very secret location, uh, Squidward, you do realize we're by the side of Patrick's house, right? Shut up and let me talk! You have our full attention. Thank you. Now listen to this. Back before you or Patrick moved in, I was a happy octopus. This place used to be very peaceful. I would come outside to get a tan and I would take relaxing bubble baths every Sunday. I used to have a good time, but ever since two idiots moved into the neighborhood, my happiness level was going down, down and down and down to the point where it disappeared. I had no happiness because of those idiots. They would bother me, wake me up at 4 o'clock in the morning every Wednesday, and they would do very stupid stuff that I did not like. Who are those two idiots? Both of you. Out, Squidward. That's kind of hurtful. Yes, it is, Spongebob, and I'm saying that because that is how I describe both of you. The point is, you two are the most annoying creatures I have ever met. I hate you so much, I had to find ways to get rid of you. Like, for example, James. I asked him to come here, that way he could move in, and he said he wanted to move in, and this whole thing was so that you two could play with James more than bothering me all the time. Not do stupid stuff that isn't necessary, like throw a party if someone's moving. Wait a minute, this whole thing was so that you could get rid of them? Heck yeah. Dude, that is so wrong. You can't just use me to kick people- SHUT UP AND GET OUT! <gasps> SHUT UP AND GET OUT! Okay. Sh sure, yeah, 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 that, that's, that's easy. Let me just turn around, and I, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> oh my goodness, Squidward. That was so mean of you. You can't just- YOU SHUT THAT MOUTH RIGHT NOW, SPONGEBOB! I AM SICK OF YOUR STUPID BABYNESS! Not only that, I'm sick of Patrick, I'm sick of the Crossy Crab, and I am sick of your stupid, annoying laugh! Please, SpongeBob, please understand a single word I am saying! I am literally asking them to every 
day for you to understand me! This will be the final time I am going to say this. I hate you. I never liked you. And I will never be friends with you ever. And one more thing, I never want to see both of you ever again for the rest of my life. Patrick? Yes, Spongebob? Is it true of all those mean things Squidward said to us? I think so. Oh no, 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 are we lost? This cannot be, oh no, Patrick, Patrick, you need to get up right now, I think we're lost. Mommy, is that you? No, Patrick, it's Spongebob, your best friend. Anyway, you need to get up right now, this is a big problem. I don't care if this problem is as big as a sumo wrestler. I still do not want to get up. Patrick, this problem is bigger than a sumo wrestler. Remember three days ago Squidward said mean stuff to us that were true? We promised not to bother him anymore. And I think we've gone so far away from home, I think we're lost. <laughs> What? What's so funny? Oh, Spongebob, Spongebob, Spongebob. If you can just listen to yourself talking right now, we are not lost. In fact, I've been keeping a secret from you ever since the day we became friends. I actually have the power to get us anywhere in the world. If I could do this correctly, I should be able to navigate ourselves back home. Just watch. Okay, Patrick, this is ridiculous. How is- Do not interrupt. I'm concentrating. <sighs> okay, it's a little difficult. Just, just try hard. <clears throat> <clears throat> Since when is thinking? Yeah, I couldn't find our way home. We're lost. Do you think I know that? Well, guess what? I already knew. <sighs> Let's just face it, Patrick. We're done for. We totally deserve this. Squidward was right. He would be a happy, delightful person if we haven't met him and moved into the neighborhood in the first place. We're just a bunch of stupid and annoying babies that gets in everyone's business. We don't deserve to live in the town. We don't deserve to be loved. We don't deserve to be welcomed. And most importantly, we don't deserve to be remembered. <sighs> But even though we don't deserve all of those, we deserve to get lost out here in the middle of nowhere, being cold and hungry. I agree with you, buddy, even though I don't know what all of those words mean. It would be better if we find a place to live that is far away from Bikini Bottom and Squidward would never find us. But that'll never happen. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Huh? Did Sifu really knock down my $200 vase? Then tell him I'm not giving him any cookies by the time I come back. Wait a minute. Is that James? It cannot be. Patrick, I think I just saw James. Who's James? 
Don't you remember? He was going to move into our neighborhood, he threw a party, Squidward ruined it, and this was all part of Squidward's plan? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you'll know sooner. Well, no. James, it's so good to see you again! Hang on, hon, I gotta call you back. Do I know you? It's me, Spongebob. Don't you remember? You were going to move into this neighborhood, then you threw a party, and everything got ruined. Oh, yeah, I know now. How's it going, Sponge Bro? Oh, I'm doing okay. The reason why we're out here is because three days ago, after Squidward yelled at you to get out, he said really, really mean stuff to us. And it just felt true. And we didn't want to bother him anymore, so we decided to get out of Bikini Bottom. Oh my, sorry to hear that, dude. But at least you have your friends. Yeah, that's right. I decided to bring Patrick and my snail Gary, just so that I don't feel lonely. Well, I would love to meet them right now. What? That's impossible, Gary! How do you keep beating me? Meow. Hey guys, look who- What? Where did you get a chessboard? Oh, it was inside my pants the entire time. How would you even fit a chessboard inside- Ah, uh, never mind, never mind. Well, don't you remember I was talking about James? Well, here he is right now. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah, I remember now. You were the guy that brought my pizza. <laughs> no, silly. I'm the guy that brought the party three days ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I still don't remember. I'm sure you'll remember soon. Anyway, it's really nice to see you guys again. I've heard that Squidward kicked you out of town, and I want to say sorry for that. But now that I'm here, instead of just being lost in the middle of nowhere, I think you guys should live with me. Not only my house is far, far away from Bikini Bottom, but it has tons, and I mean tons of fun things to do inside. So, would you guys like to live with me? <gasps> Heck yeah! I knew you'd say that, SpongeBob. So what are we waiting for? Pack your things and let's get moving. It is going to be so fun! <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, it's a letter from SpongeBob. <sighs> I do not have a good feeling, but I'll read it anyway. Dear Squidward, me and Patrick are sorry for bothering you ever since the day we moved in. We understand all the mean things you said to us, so we decided to move away. I hope you're happy that we are gone. Sincerely, Spongebob. P.S. I promise you this isn't a joke. Could it be? They finally listened? After years of screaming at them, they're finally gone? Yes! I am free! I cannot believe that they're gone! Yes! All I have to do is just easily scream mean stuff at them! I don't know why but I should have screamed at them earlier before, but that doesn't matter! I am now free! <sighs> oh my gosh, I gotta calm myself down. I have never been this happy in a long time! Oh, and now that they're gone, I can do anything I want without being interrupted. But first, I need to do one more thing. Huh? Thank you for calling the Krusty Krab. How may I help you? Hey, Mr. Krabs. Oh, it's you, Squidward. Sorry this sounds a little random, but I just wanted to let you know I officially quit working at the Krusty Krab. What? Yeah, you heard me. I officially quit working at the Krusty Krab. Listen, I Mrs. Do not Squidward, want to tell you, you why it's way too exciting. So I'm just gonna say hang that you, you quit your job. Goodbye. The only reason why you would quit your job is even if I fire you. Or... Hello? <gasps> okay, now that that was out of my system, I can now live free. All right, guys, here we are. Welcome to my house. Now before we start the fun, I decided to be kind enough to introduce you to my peeps. Sure, sure thing. thing. Oh, to oh, they're back. Hey everybody, sorry I was late, but I have two guests I want to introduce you to. Interesting, we've hadn't had guests in a while. Alright guys, let me introduce you to my favorite peeps. 
Joey, the scientist who raised me. Hello. Sifu, a really skilled ninja that can sometimes be a pain in the butt, but really helpful. Salutations. And how can I forget my really sweet and really kind wife, Jenny. <laughs> hi guys! Well, hi there. My name is Spongebob, this is my best friend Patrick, and this is my snail Gary. Hey, I thought I was Gary. Well, it's really nice seeing you guys. James told me that your neighbor kicked you out, and I'm really sorry to hear that. It's okay, but there's nothing to worry because we're gonna live with James. You got that right, Spongebob. It's gonna be real- I'm sorry to interrupt, but can I talk to you? <clears throat> okay, fine. Sorry about that. James, do you think it's a good idea to just let like, random people come in our house? It may not seem like a good idea, but they are my friends. But what if they're evil people? Didn't you tell me that happened to your dad? I trust them, but if they are evil people, don't worry. We have tons and tons of security in our house. What are you guys talking about? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little talk. Anyway, are you guys ready to have fun? Oh, yeah, I am. Me too. Even if I don't know what the word fun means. Ah, I love this. There is nothing better than staying in Goo Lagoon without worrying about Spongebob or Patrick. Ah, this is so relaxing. Hey Squidward, is that you? I haven't seen you in a while. Huh? Oh, hey Larry. I was at your neighborhood because there was a party going on three days ago. I saw that you were angry and you destroyed the party, so I just wanted to know if you're fine. Listen Larry, I appreciate you're trying to know what's going on, but it's none of your business, okay? Squidward, I know it's none of my business, but can I at least know what's going on? Okay, fine, I'll tell you. After I ruined the party, I banned Spongebob and Patrick out. You did not do that! Yeah, I did it. Why would you do that? They're both my buddies! Because they have been annoying to me for a lot of years, banning them makes me happy because I can now relax without having to worry about them. <sighs> Why are you growling like a dog? GET OUT OF MY BEACH! <laughs> Fellas, I need you to help me catch someone! I'm back here! We should have gone in the boat with Larry. I got you now! Huh? Uh oh. Ha 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 ha! No one can stop me! That was easier than I thought. Also, I just realized this guy works at the Krusty Krab. Which makes me think I should never go back there. <laughs> You're forever banned from Gula Goo! Even though I'm banned, I can still relax without worrying about Spongebob and Patrick. Attention, please. Thank you. I want to let you know that this party is a way of honoring my two new best friends, Patrick, the DJ behind me, and my main boy, SpongeBob. Hi, guys. This wouldn't happen if I met them in the first place. They are really good friends. Okay, now let's continue this awesome party. I am serious, Spongebob. You're one of the bestest friends I've ever made. All of this wouldn't happen if we haven't seen each other in the first place. Hi, hi, thank you, James. Me and Patrick would have been lost if we weren't allowed to stay at your house. I don't know why, but for some reason, all of this makes me feel like we're brothers. 
Yeah, that would be really cool if we- Wait, what makes you think we should be brothers? Um, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, James. I'm your best friend. Can't you at least tell me? <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you. But let's go to my attic first. I gotta say, James, this is a really cool attic. I know, right? But why are we here in your attic? Because I'm going to show you something I never wanted to since the day we became friends. You're showing me a key? It's not the key. It's this. Um, I don't get it. It's just a drawing that looks like it was made by a four-year-old. That's because when I was four years old, I drew that picture. And that was a picture of my family. <gasps> you had a family? Yes. I had a family. There's me in the middle, my brother on the right, and my dad on the left. My mom's not in this picture because she died giving birth to me. My dad could never afford a camera, but he told me that she was beautiful. Before Joey raised me, I had a really good family. They were all nice to me, especially my brother, but they died in the worst way you can ever imagine. What happened to them? It started out as a normal day. My dad got a call from a guy who will check out our house. Three days later, it all happened. I'm coming. I'm coming. The moment my dad opened the door, everything exploded. And the guy was revealingly a serial killer. He threw an explosive device which caused the whole house to catch on fire. My dad was injured so bad he couldn't move, and when the killer came up to him, he pulled a laser gun out, and he shot my dad. As I watched the whole thing, he told me to shut up and get out. Shut up and get out! I got the drawing, and my brother and I got in the car to escape home. But the killer shot one of the back tires, and we ended up in a car crash, which killed my brother. From that point, I thought I had to live in the streets. And when all hope seemed lost, that was when Joey found me. Oh my gosh, James. That's the saddest story I've ever heard. You see, this is the reason why I want you to stay with me. Because you're so, so nice to me, I feel like we should be brothers. I don't want you to go anywhere. Ah, uh, it's okay, James. No need to worry. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I will stay with you forever. Thank you so much, SpongeBob. You're a really good friend. You know what? It is getting really late. So how about we get a good night's sleep? Sure thing. Squidward, are you here? I've been calling you for an hour. Please come out. You know what, Miss Cheeks? If he doesn't want to come out, then let's just leave him alone. Mr. Krabs, you wanted me to call him. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. While we were walking, you yelled at me saying that I should call him. Well, if I did, then I would change my mind right now. You also said you don't care if you change your mind. I gotta think before talking. Oh, we got company. Oh, hey Mr. Krabs. Hey Sandy. Howdy Squidward. We just wanted to know what you've been up to since you destroyed the party last week. And is it just me or are you in a good mood today? Oh yeah, I am in a good mood. I don't want to tell you because you're going to be so happy. So what? Why is there a problem being happy? It's a good thing. You know what? I'll tell you. I want to warn you, what I'm about to say will blow your mind. You're going to be so happy, you will tell the entire world. You will be on TV for the news, and everybody will just keep on asking you questions. Would you just shut up and tell us what the barnacles is going on? Last week, you called me, and you decided to quit working. I lost one dollar because of that. And now you're in a good mood and you're not even telling me what's going on. So just tell me what is happening. All right, all right, I'll tell you. I came up with a plan to get someone to move here so Patrick and SpongeBob can play with him more than bothering me all the time. But when I figured out that he does things that aren't necessary, like for a party when someone's moving in, I cut the wire to the speakers and it ruined the entire party. 
And then as I was talking to Spongebob and Patrick, he showed up and I told him to shut up and get out. Then I yelled at Spongebob and Patrick how annoying they are and how I never wanted to see them again. Three days later, I received a letter from Spongebob saying that they left. So I banned Spongebob and Patrick out of Bikini Bottom. You banned them? Yep, I banned them. Isn't that great? Great? No, I can't believe you banned them! Why did you do that to our friends? Because they've been annoying me for years, and now that they're gone, I can finally enjoy life without them. Oh my god, this is terrible. This is really, really bad. Uh, Miss Cheeks? Do you even know where they went? What if they're in danger? Or what if they can be dead right now? Calm down, Miss Cheeks. What do you mean, calm down? He endangered our two beloved friends! I know that he banned Spongebob and Patrick, but you gotta understand that all he wanted was peace and quiet, and he couldn't improvise with anything else. Besides, we can forgive him for this. He's right, Sandy. Not only it's important to know why I banned them, but you need to know that I couldn't think of other ways. Also, I'm glad that Mr. Krabs is good enough to understand things like this. Well, let's shake on it. What? You see? We can all forgive me even though- <laughs> That's over. Ow! Really? Why? Did you think I would understand and forgive you? I would not. I knew it. Guys, why are you so mad? I thought you were gonna be happy. What? Just because you endangered them makes you happy? That doesn't mean we are happy. Unlike you, we are friends with them, and we have a lot of care for them. A lot of care? How come you always care about them if you've seen their stupidity? I've seen Spongebob do things that you didn't like and you find it annoying. Yes, I know, but that- Patrick can do really stupid things and you find it annoying. Can you just let me talk for- Not to mention one time we all called him an idiot boy- SHUT UP YOU MEDIOCRE CLARINET PLAYER! Sorry, I guess that was a bit too hard. But yeah, I know they can be annoying, but even if we give them rules and they don't follow, we forgive them, because they are trying to have fun, but you're always friendless. I don't give a crap if they're trying to have fun, the only thing I consider to care about is relaxation, and they don't interrupt. But if they do that, then they'll get bored, lose connection with each other, and get so lonely to the point that they don't want to do anything. If they ever do something and you find it annoying, most of the time it would be because they want to play with you. They know you've been alone for a long time, so they want you to be interested in being friends with them. And I agree that you need to change. I appreciate their enthusiasm in making me interested in playing, but I love being alone. I've been doing it for many years and I love it, but if I change... I'll barely relax, and they'll make me an idiot depending on whatever they want me to do. I don't care what anyone thinks. I will never be friends with Spongebob or Patrick. I endangered them, and there's nothing I can do. So is this it? You want to be alone with no friends for the rest of your life? Alright, if it is your choice, I will respect it. Keep in mind that there is still an opportunity to try new things. But if you want to continue on being the way you are, I am fine with that. Just to let you know, you don't even deserve friends. You're just a lazy critter who hates everyone. You're the one that should be banned, because you deserve hate. You should have endangered yourself if you don't want anyone near you. I don't care if you always want to relax because you've wasted all those years just to get rid of people you don't like. You should have listened and be friends instead of bringing misery. I hope you'll be happy by yourself after we leave. You know why? Because you deserve to be a detached squid. Come on. Good luck living with no job.
Huh. <sighs> You're right. Hey, SpongeBob. This is Squidward. If you find this tape recorder and if you are listening to this message, please don't ignore this. I just want to say that I'm sorry for saying a lot of negativity to you last week. Listen, I know that I've been living alone for years. I do it because I love to relax. But when Sandy and I had a talk after I was beaten up by Mr. Krabs, she told me that I need to change. And now I understand that you're trying to make me play with you. I'm just scared that I won't be relaxing as much as I had but I will at least try to have fun. After all, I think you are a good person. If you and Patrick are still alive, please come back. I miss you. Everybody misses you. If you come back, I promise I'll start over and I will be a different person who cares. I am coming to find you and Patrick so we can reunite. Once again, I'm sorry. <gasps> hey, Mr. Krabs, can I talk to you? It's important. Hmm? <gasps> Please, it's about yesterday. So what? It's obvious that you ignored everything Sandy said. Why should I listen to you? Because I actually listened and I'm starting to have a change of heart. I even sent a tape recorder on balloons yesterday hoping that SpongeBob receives it. And it has a message, apologizing to him. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think that'll work. You never know if they could be dead or alive. Either way, it's too late and you can't do anything about it. Which is why I want us to find them. Us? Yes. Us. I have said in the past that there was no us or we, but now that I took what Sandy said, which opened my mind, I realized that we are a team, and we need to find our teammates and bring things back the way they were, but with a new me. And so what if we don't find them, at least it will prove that I changed. I, I don't know what to say about this. How about you break that sign, and let's go find them. Hmm. Let's do it! I don't know about this. Hey Squidward! Hey Sandy! Is it true that you changed and you want to find SpongeBob and Patrick? Yes. I am so proud of you! You would always ignore everything I say and... Um... Why are you worried? What? I'm not worried. Are you sure? You clearly look like you're worried about something. <sighs> Alright, I'm just scared about changing since I won't be doing what I originally loved. I've been relaxing for a long time, and now that I made a decision after what you told me, I'm scared to straight up go for it. It's okay, Squidward. Look, sometimes in life you will have to make good decisions in order to change so it will be suitable for others. It sounds scary, but after a while, you'll get used to it. Or, what is it like to change from mad and lazy to happy and caring? Hmm, that's a bit of a tricky question. <gasps> hey, Mr. Krabs. Sandy? What are you whispering about? Squidward, let me show you something that will make you quit worrying. We will help you find a new life. Change can be bad or good. You can quit having strife and uncover with yeah. the hood. There is more to the world than relaxing. Adventures waiting for you to start helping. We will show you the right path, so stop taking a good path. <laughs> I'm the play. Just playing an hey. instrument won't get you that far. Nor can selling things for a cent or drive around with a car. Adventures like the playground, but ten times better. Or like climbing a mountain that's three times harder. 
worth enough teamwork, you can quit being a jerk. Uh, thank you so much for getting back my clarinet. Huh? Hey, hey, it's time, time to, to search, search for a change. change. Wait, what? That can help with your attitude. Okay. If there's something you can arrange, would be yourself being rude. It's time to search for a change. Search for a change? That can help with your attitude. Help with my attitude? If there's something you can arrange, would be yourself being rude. Oh, I get it now. That's great, Squidward. Now you give it a try. Come on. Wait, you you want me to play? Oh, um, I uh, I uh. Come uh, on, Mr. Squidward. I know you can do it. Didn't you tell me that you wanted to save SpongeBob and Patrick earlier? Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a try. Here we go. <clears throat> I now know how to find our new life. Change would be the best thing. I'll now quit. Wow, As you try to start understanding, <laughs> for a lot of years I've been lazy. <laughs> This change will make me very happy. Uh, 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 all my friends, so for them I will defend. There you go, yeah. Squidward. Thanks for you saving really us, Mr. Those sharks Squidward. A lesson. Just taking a bubble bath still would not be enough. Not even teaching a bit of math or working to be really tough. I have endangered people I've hated. But after a talk, I now understand them. With this change and a team, I'll start to quit being mean. Wow, Squidward, you sing this song. I'm done with fun. this song. Keep singing. It is time to search for a change. That can help with my attitude. If there's something I can arrange, we're being myself being rude. It is time to search for a change. That can help with your attitude. If there's something you can arrange, would be yourself being rude. We're being myself being rude. We're being yourself being rude. We're being myself being rude. It is time to search for a change. I can help with your attitude. If there's something you can arrange, would be yourself being rude. We're being myself being rude. Or be yourself being rude. Or be myself being rude. If there's something you can arrange, or be yourself being rude. Can I have my penny back now? Wow, thanks, fellas. I now feel more confident about changing, and now I fully understand what you said to me yesterday, Sandy. Well, I'm glad you now understand and took the words I spoke to you from yesterday, Squidward. But now that you feel confident, how do you think we're gonna find SpongeBob and Patrick? I don't know. That's one thing I didn't think about. Can't you build, like, some kind of device or something that can track them? Well, you see, I've had a device I've worked on for two years that can track any sea creature in any ocean. But do you remember last year you completely destroyed it? Oh, yeah. Besides, I can't make another one because it'll take a long time and I don't have the parts since they are hard and expensive to get. Hmm... Mr. Krabs, can you- Nope! I am not spending me money on device parts! That's not what I was going to say, you- Sorry, I'm still trying to learn. I was going to ask if you can track sense to find where SpongeBob and Patrick went. Oh, I don't know why I haven't thought of that. <laughs> Ew, your house smells like crap. Hey, I'm just kidding. Wait, I got something. I went that way. Well, let's go. SpongeBob, Patrick, we're coming for you. I'm telling you, I've never had this much fun forever! I know, and this is so fun! It's so weird that you got smarter since Joey used you for testing during his experiments. Yeah, and I love it! Thanks, Joey! You're welcome! Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, sure, go ahead. 
James, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? It doesn't look like you are. You seem anxious. I'm just worried about them. What if Squidward finds them and he takes them away? I don't want them to go because to me, they feel like they are my brothers. And you know I don't have anyone in my family since they got murdered. James, you don't need to worry. This place is far away from Bikini Bottom. There's no possible way that Squidward will find them here. James, James, you might want to listen to this. Hey, SpongeBob, this is Squidward. If you find this tape record, I just want to say that I don't think you should lie. I am coming to get you and Patrick so I can relax. He sent that tape recorder? And he's coming here to murder them? I told you it wasn't a good idea to let your friends come here. Jen, how was I supposed to know that their neighbor's coming? Oh no, this is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't want the same thing that happened to my dad to happen to us. We'll have to come up with something. James, calm down. No need to worry. I have a plan. Remember that underground arena where we sometimes have robot battles? Yeah? We will set up a trap that will send Squidward there, and we can surround him with all of the defense robots we have. We'll put Spongebob and Patrick in a safe room, and in case none of that works, Joey and I will take care of it. That plan sounds good. We never know when Squidward will arrive, but until then, let all the robots know. We gotta set up everything by the time he gets here. Got it. When will you let Spongebob and Patrick know? I'll let them know when Squidward arrives. Their sense are getting closer. So Squidward, what are you gonna do when we find them? It's pretty simple, I'll just ask for forgiveness, hope that they'll accept my apology, and then we'll go back home. That's it? Yeah, it's a pretty simple plan, you know. I hate to say this, but it might not sound as easy as you think. What do you mean? Regardless if we find them, you never know if they can be in danger and we might have to fight. I know, that's why I wanted to bring you and Mr. Krabs. You have good karate skills and Mr. Krabs has strong claws, so we'll be fine. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure you know in case we ever need to fight. Wait a minute. Since we mentioned me and Mr. Krabs. Can you fight? What? I said, can you fight? Um... Well, hey guys, look what I found! What is it? Just as I thought, he cannot fight like a warrior. Check this out! As I was following the scent, I found it coming from that house! That's weird. I don't remember seeing a fancy house like that back at Bikini Bottom. Uh oh, James, they're here. Oh no. Attention all robots! We interrupt your activities to warn you that Squidward has arrived. I repeat, Squidward has arrived. This is not a drill. You are advised to head to the underground arena and get in position immediately. SpongeBob, Patrick, we gotta get to the underground arena now. Wait, what? Why? There's no time to explain. Follow me. James, you can't just leave us wondering. You gotta tell us what's going on. Ah, <sighs> fine. Squidward sent a tape recorder earlier. And it's said that he's coming to kill both of you. And he's here! Wait, Squidward? I can't talk right now, so come with me and I'll explain. Hello? Is anyone here? We're looking for someone. Hmm, this must be an abandoned house. That's weird. I'm 100% sure this is where the <laughs> What's going on? Where are we? So you're trying to get in my house? Uh, kind of. Okay, who is this? It's me. James? Yep, we meet again. Tell us what is going on? Why did you trap us here? I see that you and your friends are trying to get in my property. Do you want me to remind you about what happened at the party? You screamed at me, and those words were similar to something that happened to my family a long time ago. I was crying and screaming like a three-year-old toddler because you felt like a threat to me. 
And so that is why I'm gonna imprison you here while well, you'll never get out. Wait, listen, we are not here to do anything to you, okay? I'm sorry. Can you just let us out? Nope. It is in the past and it can't be forgivable. You and your friends will stay here until we figure out what to do. And if you're wondering, I doubt that you will find Spider and Patrick. You hear me? I highly- Sorry, Patrick accidentally farted in the room. You are hiding them?! Shut it! You may know where SpongeBob and Patrick are, but I highly doubt that you'll get them back. Well, we're screwed. Guys, we can't give them now. James is trying to keep SpongeBob and Patrick away from us. What if they're in danger? Exactly! We need to break out of here now! There's gotta be a door or a respawn around these walls. Hmm? No, that's not it. I think I found a respawn. Thank Neptune. <sighs> SpongeBob, Patrick, we are going to save you. Ah! Ah! My hand! <sighs> that is some hard material! Let me see. Hmm. It looks like this is made out of some kind of strong material. Oh well, here it goes. <laughs> ow! My leg! Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! Uh, I don't have time for this. Wait, now you're gonna try? Yes, now both of you stand back and let me show you how it's done. Mr. Krabs, just because you saw how me and Sandy tried to break that wall doesn't mean you're gonna- <laughs> I've been eating titanium. Alright, let's go save Spongebob and Patrick. Oh crap. So, now that you managed to get here, what are you going to do now? Uh... I kind of feel bad for Squidward. I know he said a lot of negative things to us, but still. Yeah. Well, I guess we can listen to the tape recorder while we wait. Ha! I knew it. James, why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? For a big reason. I got the tape recorder from you and it says that you want to kill SpongeBob and Patrick. What? Mow, 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 mow. Mow, mow. Yeah, Gary's right. Something's wrong with the audio. Maybe it's the batteries. Luckily, I have some spare batteries in my belly button. You might be a threat to us. Wait, wait, there's gotta be a misunderstanding. I don't know if you didn't hear it correctly, but that tape recorder is supposed to be an apology for SpongeBob. An apology? Okay, the batteries are in. Let's listen. Yes, I know that I banned them last week. But after I was beaten up, and how to talk, I was starting to have a change of heart and realized that they were trying to help me start a new life. I was scared when I first made that decision, but when we sing a song, I felt more confident. So you're telling me you sing a song and it made you feel more confident about changing? Yes, we did. You want some proof? Okay, never mind. What is your point? My point is that when I had a change of heart, I realized that the world, regardless of how cruel it is, it can be fun if you look at it from another direction. I used to be all by myself wanting to be alone. Now, I'm willing to hang out with my new friends. Wow, I can't believe that. Yep, right now, I want to change from the detached squid into the delighted squid. No. I can't believe that you would do anything to lie. What? No, I'm not lying. Yeah, right. I've been lied a lot when I was younger, but my family would never lie to me. So of course you're lying. He's not lying. Huh? What? He's telling the truth. Nothing was mentioned about him murdering anyone. The batteries on the tape recorder were damaged before we put in the new ones. We managed to get most of the recorded message, and this is what it said. Hey Spongebob, this is Squidward. I just want to say that I'm sorry. My message? 
I know that I've been living alone for years. I do it because I love to relax. But when Sandy and I had a talk, after I was beaten up by Mr. Krabs, she told me that I need to change. And now I understand that you're trying to make me play with you. I will at least try to have fun. After all, I think you are a good person. If you and Patrick are still alive, please come back. I miss you. I am coming to find you and Patrick so we can reunite. Once again, I'm sorry. I forgive you, Squidward. Really? Yep, you deserve a second chance. I forgive you too. Not because I got smarter since a scientist was doing tests on me. Thank you so much, SpongeBob. Hey, you can't have a hug without me. Let me come over here. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you both so much. Mom, 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 mom. Why, hello, little snail. Mom. Wait, you're gonna leave? I'm sorry, James. It was nice to live with you, but I gotta go back. What? But you said you'll stay with me forever! Well, yeah, but even though I'll go away, I'll always be your friend. It's the same thing with your family. They may be gone, but their love stays in your heart. They don't have to live with you or anything. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Now, let me be honest. I think you are acting evil. You were trying to keep me and Patrick away, and all these robots have their laser guns up. Please stop. Put the guns down. I'm sorry, everyone. I was just worried, you know. I forgive you, James. But I also want you to forgive me for screaming. I was just angry and didn't want to be interrupted. I'm also sorry about what happened to your dad and brother. I never knew that those words I said were the exact same words that the serial killer said to you. Oh, and just to let you know, I would never work with anyone like him or put a threat to- <laughs> What happened? What's going on? Where's SpongeBob and Patrick? James, what's going on with our robots? I don't know. They're acting like someone took control over them. Finally! I have you now! <laughs> oh! That can't be! Who the heck is that guy? That's a killer who murdered my dad and brother! <gasps> no way! Yes, way! After years of hiding in the shadows, I finally have you! How did you find me? Last week I found you at the party, but I lost track when you ran away. Luckily, I've been following those three, hoping that I can find you again. And now that I'm in control of your robots, I'm one step closer to finishing my mission. You can't be serious! I'm sorry. This is just how life is. Robots, get him! What are you doing? No! Go. No! 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 Tiny, I need you to lock down every back door. As, 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 As for you two, you both are gonna stay with me until I figure out which one to kill first. No! This can't be happening! I'm sorry, Squidward. I never thought this would happen. You can't be serious! I just wanna bring back SpongeBob and Patrick! Hey, Squidward. Let me just say that I'm proud of you. This really proves that you changed and you are willing to go out and have fun with us. Thank you for taking my words. Thank you for helping me, Sandy. Guys, we can't give up yet. Uh, Squidward, what was that part of the song that you said you will never give up on your friends? <gasps> I remember. Stop! Huh? If you don't stop this madness, I will have no other choice but to fight. <laughs> what makes you say that? I'll never give up on my friends, so for them I will be friends! <laughs> what the heck? Ah, sorry about your robot games. Don't worry, I'll allow it. I wasn't expecting this. You may take over everything, but we will do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> 
robot attack! I'm gonna go find SpongeBob and Patrick. I'll both of you take out these robots. Get up, don't make this difficult. Why should I listen to you if your head is filled with nothing but bolts? Bolts? Darn it! I don't know some crap! James, this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I need you to help us. What? You gotta be kidding me! I can't fight! James, if that guy really killed your dad and brother, then take this opportunity to fight, so you can do it for your family. My family? Alright Ninja, on the count of three, we are both going to shoot you and your little buddy here at the same time. One. Two. Get away from them! Are you guys okay? We're fine, James. Thank you for saving us. Yeah, that's my boy there. <laughs> Well then, how would you guys like to join me in this fight? Ha ha ha! We got you now, little squirrel! You don't know the scientists to help you? Why, I sure do! <laughs> Hmm. Ah. Where the heck did SpongeBob and Patrick be? SQUIRRELS! Ah! 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 Get away from my buddies! Ah! 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 Are you guys okay? We are, Squidward. Thank you for saving us. It really proved that you changed. <laughs> well... After all, ah! SpongeBob! <laughs> now it's your turn, Fatty. Did you just call me Fatty? So? Don't ever call me Fatty or show any of my friends again! Gurga! <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob, get up! Get up! You don't have to worry about me, Squidward. I'm a sponge, I can't be hurt. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, right. Whoa! Do you have any ideas on how we're gonna take out those robots? I do actually. Whoa! Whoa! Ready, SpongeBob? I'm ready! Okay, here we go! Whee! That was fun! I should do that again sometime! Are you hurt, me, Boyle? I'm alright, Mr. Krabs. Thank you for asking, though. Phew! What a relief. It's great to have you back, son. No! My robots! Hiya! Ah! Hiya! Hiya! Ah! Hey, boss, I made sure every back door is. What the heck is going on here? Just get out there and show them who's boss! Wow, wow, wow. We defeated all of your robots. Did you save us the best for last, hmm? Why, yes I did. I can't wait to see you all face against Tiny. Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> wow! I can't wait to beat this guy up. Why don't you bring him on? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just one robot, so I guess we'll be heading out now. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't leave these two behind. No! 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 Scary! Nobody messes with my gear, bear! Ah! 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 Ah!
Do you think it's nice to throw people out like that? Well, guess what? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Uh -huh. Sandy! That's it. I'm gonna take down this robot myself. Fuzz! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Don't just stand there and watch. Help me defeat this robot. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sandy, are you okay? Holy crap, your helmet broke! <sighs> Good thing I had an extra helmet. But don't worry, Swiver, I'm fine. Phew! What a relief. <laughs> Would you try to cut off the robot's head already? That's what I'm trying to do, you old hag! Come on, Tiny, you can beat them! Come on, little snail, break off the chains. What are you two doing? Uh, he's scratching my back because I had an itch. Oh, okay. Yeah! Uh. Yes! <laughs> I got everyone! Huh? Come on. You wouldn't want to hurt me, would you? Wow. That's disrespectful. Uh, it's no use. This robot is too strong. That's right, Octopus! I am the strongest robot in the world! Larry? Worry no more, everyone. The backup is here. How did you get here? I was jogging until I saw you, Mr. Krabs, and Sandy fall down a hole in front of a house. I got worried, so I kept digging down and saw this big robot hurting you. Oh, okay. By the way, I heard what was said about you apologizing to Spongebob and changing, and I'm proud of you. It's also great to have you back, Spongebob and Patrick. It's good to see you again, Larry. You're no longer banned from Gulubu. Alright, stand back! This is gonna get messy! Yeah! <laughs> 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 What the heck? How is he beating you? Yes, we're free. Thanks, little snail. Ow, my mouth. Ow! Is that all you got? No. <laughs> uh oh. Prepare to die. What the? This Better luck next time. Not. No! Tiny, you failed me. Oh no! Wow! That's it. I'm gonna go down there and do the job myself. Wow! 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 then. Now that we took care of this robot, it's time to go save Gary. And Jenny, can't forget about her. James! Oh, oh, Mau, Mau, Mau! Jerry! How did you get out safely? Me and the snail got free from the handcuffs. We beat the killer. Oh, really? Oh, I'm proud of you, Gary. One in five minutes. We gotta get out of here before this place blows up! Follow me, I know an exit! Come on, Jenny, hurry up! I'm coming! <gasps> Jenny! <gasps> Get your hands off of my wife! <gasps> Doesn't this look familiar? This is gonna end up the same way I kill your dad. Only this time, with a gun instead of a laser. You can't do this! Yes, I can! You were the only one in the family that I didn't kill, so instead of killing you first, I'm going to kill your spouse first. No! I love you. I love you too, Jenny. Huh? Squidward! Ah, so you decided to take your life away for a married woman, huh? Well, yeah, but lucky for me, I caught the bullet. What? Oh well, I'll just shoot you. <laughs> Right here. 
So, I finally get to see your face for the first time. And according to what's written on the back of your mask, your name is Aaron. <laughs> I never thought there would be a day where you could figure out my identity. So you know what? I'm out of here for sure. Goodbye. Not so fast. <laughs> never mess with me. Hurry up, guys! The doors are about to close. I'm coming. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Ah! Ow! Wait, what the heck? What about you guys? Once the doors are closed, they can't be open. Oh, no, 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 no. There's gotta be a way. There isn't. Thank you for all the memories that you brought to us, SpongeBob. <laughs> well, guys, we may not live the perfect life, but at least it was good enough. Joey, thank you for raising me after my dad died. Sifu, you're the bestest friend I've ever had. And Jenny, thank you for being the best wife a man could ever have. Well, here it comes. Hey, what does this button on my watch do? Well, at least we made out safe. This was all my fault. If I've never banned anyone or used somebody for a stupid plan, they would have been alive. It's okay, Squidward. It might have been a huge mistake, but at least you learned from it, which made you a better person. And on the bright side, at least you saved us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, SpongeBob, do you feel like we should hang out sometime now that we are friends? Sure, I'm totally up for it. What about you, Patrick? I would love to, especially with a new friend. <laughs> Alright, come on guys, let's go back to Bikini Bottom. And that was the story of how I turned from the detached squid into the delighted squid. Wow, that was the best non-fictional story I ever heard. Yeah, and hopefully this story will spread out and inspire others. I hope so too. <laughs> Hey, where's old man Jenkins? Well, he had to go to the doctor's appointment, but no worries. I recorded the whole thing. I'll show him. Okay, that's understandable. So, now that I'm done with the story, who wants some Krabby Patties? Closing time! I'll see you boys next week! Oh, and Squidward, thanks for telling them customers about your story. Mr. Krabs, you said it would affect my paycheck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I said that. Bye! Bye. What's wrong, Squidward? Nothing. It's just I feel bad for James's death. I gotta be honest, he was a great guy. Well, I do agree, but at least I brought joy to him. I mean, he never lived a perfect life because of some ups and downs, but I'm glad he was happy when I came to him. Come on. Should we reveal to them that we're alive? I'm sure they'll find out one day. You know, if it wasn't for the force field button on my watch, we would've died in that explosion. <laughs> <laughs> well then, what do you say we go back with Sifu and Joey and continue repairing our house? I'm with ya. Alright, Plankton, it's your turn to take out the trash. Ah, uh, but I took care of that a week ago. Yeah. Last Thursday. Today's Friday. <sighs> okay, okay. I better not be doing that irritating chore next Saturday. What was that? <sighs> Karen, you might want to see this. <laughs> 